Subscribe to Keto and Tea and hit that notification bell. Thank you. much i simply ask for a thumbs up can you thumbs up the video come on in subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so every time i upload a video you can get the message or even if i do a live stream you can definitely get that message to y'all hey 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 good morning and welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel y'all we are growing and we are growing in a positive way and i'm very thankful for that thank you all to the new subscribers hey neighbors thank you for tuning in hey haters you always going to come in and get the message and i love you for it god bless you so good morning y'all i'm a little late leaving out of here this morning y'all i was tired y'all i was tired last night i said let me get on up i got bills to pay let me get on up and get out this door but I wanted to talk to you today about walking away from a fight. And that's going to be today's message. Walking away from a fight. Now I just want to come on and say, walking away from a fight doesn't make you weak. It makes you strong. Because when you're engaging in battle, it's draining you. But I know some fights we do have to fight and it depends on what it is. And that's why they say you pick and choose your battles. Some battles are designed to keep you in them for a long period of time. Some battles can destroy you. And some battles you're not gonna win them all. So it's important to recognize what's worth fighting for. And when it comes out here to this here internet, there's going to be people picking battles with you. And you're not going to want to engage in it. And they're going to call you names. They're going to call you weak. They're going to call you a punk. But with you and your knowledge and your wisdom and your understanding, you understand firsthand, I'm not the one you should be fighting. I'm not the one you should be engaging in battle to. I'm not the one who did anything to you. Your issue is not with me. But they pick you to come fight with because they think you're the weaker one. You see what I'm saying? So they keep charging you because they think you're weak. But let them think what they want to think. Because I know for a fact, nothing weak over here. Nothing weak over here. I just won't give you my energy. I'm not going to give you what you want. And then some people demand conversations with you. You need to sit down and we need to talk this out and we need to point this out. Don't give them that. If you feel like you don't owe nobody anything, you don't owe nobody anything. If these people not important to you and you know you're not seeking to rebuild a relationship with them in the future, don't engage with them don't engage with them. See, the best part about me is once I encounter you and I have a bad experience with you, I will never do you again. That's how I do things. I encounter you, have a bad experience with you, and I never do you again. 
you won't do me twice. And you could bring it back around to how they socialize here on this internet. They had bad experiences with people, right? The first time. They had they falling out. They fight real dirty, real nasty. Then they rebuild these trauma bonding friendships, right? I call it trauma bonding friendships. They rebuild these trauma bonding friendships and everybody friends because they bonding over the same trauma, <laughs> having a bad experience with someone, right? So their trauma bonding relationship is because, oh, you had a bad experience with so-and-so? Oh, I had a bad experience with so-and-so too. Let's trauma bond over the bad experience that we had with so-and-so. So they base their channel off of, hey, I had a bad experience with this person. Let's all talk about how much of a bad experience we had. And let's talk about that for the years to come so that everybody can, can understand I had a bad experience with this person. And then hopefully when new people come around, they won't try to get close to this person because we don't want them to have an experience with this person. Even though every experience you deal with somebody is different. I can have an experience with another uh, person and have a positive one. Somebody else can have another experience with that same person and have a bad one. And just, and just because you had that bad one, don't mean I gotta. And don't mean you think you're gonna save me from my experiences from a person. I have to learn a person from myself. And I'm not going to take everybody's word at face value because that's your experiences with that person. So if you made it to the end of this video, y'all, please drop some houses down in the comments to let me know you made it to the end of the video. Because I just want to come out and do my little motivational speaking videos and keep it moving like that and do my little shorts on motivation. And it's working. And I hope you all enjoyed this message today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on your notification bells because every morning I'm going to upload these videos, y'all. Y'all come over and come talk to me every morning while I drive to work. All right, y'all. So I hope you got the message. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all. Bye.